Oh, no, hey, it's Cooking One Five here. I'm here with my little brother. We uh, we got out to lunch a little early here, and we figured since we're ahead of the rush, we we go Chick Fil A, which we have some Chick Fil A today. And um, even for 10:30, they seem to be pretty busy. There's been five cars here, but it's only taken a minute. Okay, we got someone outside here to go order. At the speaker, uh, -huh. uh, you gotta work it. Well, you get up here to the speaker. It's a great day at 2.4 miles from here. Uh, yeah, I want to get a number one meal. Absolutely, and what would you like to drink for that? I'll have a, uh, let's, let's do a root beer. Absolutely, so chicken sandwich meal, medium size with a root beer, anything else for you? Can I get a lot of extra ketchup? Absolutely, anything else? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, hold on, my little brother wants something. Okay. What do you want? Can I get a number two? Yeah, he wants a number two. Plain with cheese. Like Plain? He wants plain with cheese, he said. Um, does he want American Pepper Jack or Pepper Jack? Pepper Jack. Pepper Jack. I think I want to drink with that. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper? Absolutely. Anything else? That's it. Alright, so chicken sandwich meal, medium size, with a root beer, the spicy sandwich meal with no pickle, have pepper jack cheese with a medium Dr. Pepper, and if you want any other ketchup, marrow sauce, other than the extra ketchup? No, just tons of ketchup. Absolutely. It'd be fourteen ninety, and we'll serve it to a no. Alright. Tons of ketchup. Mm -hmm. Now, we took a little while to order there. In fact, it took us so long to order, about 40 seconds maybe, is my guess, the five cars in front of us just disappeared. We got a guy here at the window. They hand it out before you pay, so it's free. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Which one's mine? I don't know, let's taste this. Okay, yeah, you got some ketchup in there, good. Alright, thanks. Man, I tell you what, I don't care what anybody says, but there ain't nobody faster than Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna make a left right here. I don't even make a left. Uh, I'm going to. Man, she handed me those drinks. We could have been out of here. Got free drinks on the next Chick-fil-A, but I wouldn't do them that way. They, they work too hard, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't feel bad about that with McDonald's. But, well, maybe I would. No. But they probably used to it, their clientele, you know, they they know better than to hand the drinks out. I can't I can't even get everybody's going Look to at that. 15, everybody's going fifteen going to Chick -fil -A. people are going to Chick fil A. I can't even get out of here. Yeah, the McDonald's clientele, you don't hand no food or drink out the window until you get your money. I'll tell you that right now. Chick fil A, a little more trusting. With us, you know, us higher quality people eat there. Yeah. All right. Well, take, always take your seatbelt off. Make a little room. Dr. Pepper, is that what you ordered? Dr. P? That's mine. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so we're ready for today's lunch and learn. We're going to eat our Chick-fil-A and we're going to teach you something. Now today is... Uh, huh. What's the date? 
Is it April? April 1st? Something like that. I think it's April 1st today. So, uh, you know what that means? Easter's coming. Oh, man. Save that bag, we're going to need to put our things in there. Alright. So anyway, Easter's coming. And, um, we've had a lot of requests for the last year about about my uh, rotisserie rabbit recipe. I make it every year. It's a family tradition. You want to get yourself a nice rabbit. It's important you get a meat rabbit. You can't just eat any rabbit. I mean, you could. But uh, a meat rabbit is a special breed rabbit. There's different kinds. I don't you know, I don't want to go into all the technicalities right now. We'll cover that in the next video with the recipe. But your meat rabbits got more meat on them. You know, they're, they're just the bigger ones with more meat. I'll be getting my rabbit here. And you want to, well, you want to get it from a, a reputable source. It's pet store. Well, I learned that the hard way. You got to be careful about the pet stores. Meat can be kind of dry. I don't know if it's something they feed them or what, but I'd stay away from the pet stores. But you butcher your rabbit, you take his pajamas off. And uh, what I like to do is I, I like to give it a nice, a nice soak, you know, maybe 30 minutes or so, in a uh, a salt solution, some water, a little bit of salt, kosher salt, sea salt, whatever, <laughs> and um, <clears throat> soak it a little bit. And while that's soaking. You want to prepare your bacon weave. I like to use a, an apple wood smoked bacon. And I weave a little blanket out of it. And I get my rabbit out and I stuff the inside of my rabbit with some yellow and orange and red bell peppers. Chop it up, put some onion in there, chop that up, and I usually or put a bunch of olive oil in there with that too. Then you want to take your your smoked applewood bacon wrap, your blanket you made, and just wrap it around wrap it around the bunny. And take some cooking twine. Take some cooking twine and tie it up there so that uh, you close the rabbit up, the peppers and onions stay inside, and the, most importantly, the bacon wrap stays on. And I rotisserie it on my grill. And I, I like to use some smoking chips. Now for smoking chips I won't I won't use just any smoking chip. Usually I'll use like a an apple tree or a cherry tree, you know something something with a little flavor. Maple. A nice, no, maples are wrong. I mean, you could. I mean, you could do anything. Hickory, maple. But go for the fruits. Go for the apple. Go for the cherry. I'm telling you, that onion and pepper combination, it, it'll do you good. Now, the most important thing is once the rabbit is close to being done, I like to coat it in a red apple bourbon barbecue sauce. Uh, usually, I use Old Ray's. Uh, you can use any any barbecue sauce. Um, use a homemade barbecue sauce, whatever. But I think it's best to kind of go for a fruit. Go for the fruit. You know, an apple, some kind of apple barbecue sauce. Um, I'm not saying get crazy and do apple cinnamon and all that. I'm just saying a little hint of fruit on rabbit, a nice moist rabbit. with onions, peppers, 
olive oil. It's gonna do you good. So you can use a little rosemary or thyme if you want. But uh, first time around, I wouldn't I wouldn't get too crazy. Rely on the barbecue sauce and the peppers and onions for your flavor. Make sure you keep an eye on the temperature. I'm telling you, temperature is a big deal. With just like any meat, you overcook it, it's gonna get tough. But that bacon, that bacon grease is gonna help keep everything moist. We're gonna put the recipe out there. We'll get some pictures. We'll do a little video, show my little brother how to do it, and um, you know we'll follow it under rabbit recipes, hashtag rabbit recipes, hashtag Easter recipes. Hashtag Christian recipes, and uh, I think you like it. What do you think? Good. Good. I think you ate two rabbits last year, didn't you? <laughs> you couldn't get enough. There it is. Chick Fil A on the spot. That's that's the key, you know. It's hard to decide where you're gonna eat for lunch, especially for him. No. But if you get out early, it's the best time to go to Chick Fil A. Get there before the rush. You're in and out in two to three minutes instead of four to five. So anytime you get out to lunch early, just, just by default. Go to Chick Fil A. And the nice thing about that is you have a lot of time left over. You go get dessert. Ice cream. You've been carrying on about ice cream for a while. Maybe we will get some ice cream today. Good idea. I don't know how they do it. What? Chick Fil A is the only place you can go. And get a sandwich that tastes like it's homemade. <sighs> so we're going to go get some ice cream. I hope you learned something. I hope you learned a little something about rotisserie rabbit for Easter we're gonna release the recipe here uh, we'll do a video I'll show my little brother how to rotisserie the rabbit all right let's go get some ice cream Let me get that bag down there Whew. That's crumbs all over the place again I'll grab that bag arm what you can't reach? Yeah, that's what I want. Pick the garbage up. You're making something nice. You're getting your ketchup everywhere. You just got ketchup everywhere. Alright. That concludes our video. We're going to get our ice cream. And uh, hope you learned something. We'll get that rotisserie rabbit recipe out there real soon for you.